film is brought to you by Woka Denmark. If you want an eco-friendly wood finish for your schoolie, van, or tiny home, consider Woka for your next project. More on that in a bit. We are so grateful Woka sent us all these gorgeous products to use on our floor finish. We search high and low for something really nice and eco-friendly, something that we would be comfortable putting our bare feet on, rolling around on, doing yoga. So we wanted something really nice, eco-friendly and natural to bring out the beauty of these 100-year-old barn boards. Right now, we're just gonna talk about what they sent us so that you can be successful with your project if you decide to use eco-friendly products such as these. Um, this is all a system that's put together. There's phase one, phase two, and phase three. Phase one is cleaning the floor. They sent the intensive wood cleaner. What this does is it pops the grain so that it can absorb the wood oil, which happens in step two. We went ahead and got the diamond natural because we wanted to bring out just the natural qualities of the wood. So we're gonna use this as the oil for the wood. And then they sent us everything that we needed to successfully maintain the floor while we are cruising down the road all over North America, maybe even down into Central and South America, who knows? And as we go through each step, we're gonna explain in way more detail how it works and show you exactly what to do. Let's get started. Yeah, yeah. So before we get started on all the fun, beautiful finishing, we need to clean up our boot marks. <laughs> Since probably in November, we've been trying to get to the point where we could do this. We started collecting the wood, old barn boards, and now they're silky smooth and gorgeous. Took us a while to prepare them, probably about a month once we got started. Um, just sanding, routing, taking out old nails, taking out old nails first. Yeah, that took a things. lot of work. <laughs> um, but yeah, we spent a lot of time getting it to this point. Um, so we already feel a great sense of satisfaction. This is just going to be the cherry on top. Yeah, and if you've been following along, you've already seen part one, two, and three where we installed the subfloor and we were milling and cleaning all these uh, boards and then also installing the hardwood floor. But if you haven't seen those yet, check it out uh, because that'll catch you up to this video right here where we're actually finishing it. All right, let's get to it. So we're gonna start off with the intensive wood cleaner. Now this is mixed one to 40 ratio, which is essentially three ounces per gallon. We've got a gallon and a half, so we're going to use four and a half ounces. We've got our measuring cup and we're gonna measure it in, then mix our solution. There's four and a half, there we go. Four and a job is done. My turn. <laughs> it's mopping time. So we have a brand new mop head on this so we don't get any old bus gunk <laughs> from our other mop head on the floor. This is pretty simple. We're just gonna go mop the floor with this and then we're gonna rinse it with some clean water after. Now that's popping the grain all right. That looks so good. <laughs> Did you know it was going to look like that? No. Yeah. It's already looking good. We don't even have oil on it yet.
now we're doing rinsing the floor. We're gonna go ahead and wait a couple hours for the floor to dry, and once it's nice and dry, then we can start applying the oil. Something to think about also when applying the oil is it has to be above 15 degrees Celsius, which is around 59 degrees Fahrenheit, which we are just above that, so we will be good to go. Okay, because we are in Ontario and it still gets quite cold at night, um, we are going to put plastic up on the windows so that we can keep the heat in the bus, but we're going to leave the front door open and we're also going to leave the back window open so we can have some nice airflow. Um, we really couldn't have asked for a better day. This is the first day. It's been like maybe 20 something degrees. I think it's like 21 degrees or something Celsius. Um, so yeah, we've really been waiting for a good day. The floor needs to stay above 15 Celsius for it to cure. So we got to prepare. That's probably good. There we go. That'll hold the heat in. And it'll still let airflow to happen, which is nice. Now we're going to do that to all the windows except for this one right here and the entrance door. Alright, 22.1 Celsius, which is 72.5 Fahrenheit. Remember, it has to be above 15 Celsius or 59 Fahrenheit. We're good here in the back. Let's check here in the middle. 2019. There's that, which is 66, so we're good there. And we'll check over there. 20. Perfect. So 68 Fahrenheit. 20.2 Celsius. I think we're good to go to start putting down some woka woka oil. Yeah, yeah. Woka woka woka. Floor's dry. We're ready to rock. Oh, that thing turns on. Good. <laughs> if you don't have it, borrow it. Well, we asked around and turns out we were able to borrow a floor buffer. So the tools that we have that we're using, the orbital buffer with, this was a 17 inch uh, red polishing pad. Um, we cut it down to fit the bottom of this and uh, that's gonna work just great. That's for putting the oil down. Uh, Aaron's gonna be using the uh, roller with a tight nap on a pole so she could roll on the oil. And uh, we're gonna put it inside the paint tray here, nice and clean. And we've got a stir stick. We can also shake this, so um, so we've been shaking it. Hell yeah, nice and mixed. Make sure it's shaking well. And then we also have polishing pads to wipe up any excess oil. So we're gonna put down the oil, um, really work it in with the buffer here uh, into the grain because we really want this to go in deep. And this is gonna be only used on the first coat. And then after it sits for about 10 to 15 minutes, we'll then wipe up whatever is excess, let it chill out overnight, and then we'll apply two more coats tomorrow.
we just finished putting down the last bit of oil mm -hmm. all over the floor. And next up, we wait 10 to 15 minutes, which we've done that. We've done. Yeah. And now we're heading back to the back of the bus where we started. And we're going to use these polishing cloths right there to uh, wipe up whatever excess oil there is. Oh, it's so smooth. Wow. And then we'll wait six hours until we apply the next coat. Uh, but really, that's just going to be tomorrow. Whenever we sleep. come back tomorrow, yeah. we'll apply the next coat. And then six hours after that, we'll apply the third coat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so far, it's gone on super, super smooth. I'm really, really impressed with the coverage and the wood is soaking it up beautifully yep. and uh, the tonality to it. Ah, oh, it's, it's so rich. rich. It looks really rich. Really, really good. Really beautiful. The grains are just popping. Yeah. Good morning. Last night, well, rubbing the excess oil off the floor. We ran into a couple snaggeroonies. Brian's on top of that. Attempting to patch it. You never know what's gonna happen with reclaimed wood. Wood's very fibrous, it's natural. It's got like all sorts of things going on with the grain. And this one little spot, well, it had a little snag on the buffer pad that we noticed later. And so I'm seeing if there's a way to patch it. <laughs> We had a couple snaggeroonies right in the like major walking paths, of course. Um, so we fixed a couple, but this is the first one that we fixed since we put the oil on. So hopefully we don't mess with the quality of the oil and glue and it should be fine. But yeah, the temperature dropped big time last night. Um, we're back to like five degrees Celsius today outside. The bus is a pretty good temperature. What are we at in here? Uh, we were at like nine when we came in, but we left when it was 20 on the inside. So I think that there was plenty of time for the oil to soak in. Uh, so we're just bringing up the temperature right now. Uh, we're all ready to about 17 right here and about 11 and a half. I haven't checked it in about half an hour, but it's probably, probably pretty good. So I'm going to pour another uh, paint tray's worth of oil and start putting the second coat on. And uh, yeah, it's exciting. It looks really, really good. We love how it looks. Um, and it looks like it's cured just fine. So hopefully the temperature drop didn't mess with our flow. Not quite. We're gonna have to work on that temperature. We've got the heater outside running now. Try to get the heat back up. Woo, fingers crossed. We'll get the second coat of oil on just in a few. Art project time. All right. Yeah. All right, so we already used these polishing rags, but I had a minor blowout in my foot booty. Here's my foot booty right here. Um, you can guess where my foot actually was. Well, I just had a blowout. So we're gonna make some new foot booties out of the polishing rags that we used yesterday, just to reuse them. You know, Aaron seemed to be just fine so far, well, but do you have a blowout? Yeah, they're not perfect. Plus the uh, shoe prints still showed through the booties. So we have a few footprints on the floor, which, I don't prefer. Um, she doesn't so, prefer it, folks. I don't really like it. So we are going to transform them into our new booties. Yeah, we're gonna <laughs> kind of upcycle them. Yep. Let's see who can make booties faster and more stylish. <laughs> oh, really? We're gonna do that now. All right, we're having a competition. Luckily, we've got a built-in cutting board here in the in the in the back. Go ahead and put your hands together for a built-in cutting board. Right. Love it. Mine are definitely gonna be cute. You're, I have a design already in mind. I already have a design in mind too. Hey, so we need to put the cleanest side on the bottom. I think. What do you think? I'm gonna use tuck tape. I'm using tuck tape because this stuff is super sticky, and that stuff is not. So. I'm a more gentle creature than he is. So. Yeah. 
Plus, you don't know my design. I don't know your design. That's that's uh, part of the part of the fun in this, right? Yeah. Guys, it is substantially colder today than it was yesterday. <laughs> yesterday in the afternoon, we had shorts on and tank top. We're in the backyard, in between, waiting for the floor. And uh, now today we're back to toucan sweaters when we're outside. Yeah. Okay, so this time we are just going to put a nice thin layer of the oil on the floor without buffing it. And then we will let it hang out for 15, 10 to 15 minutes before we go and we rub it off. Yep, and we're gonna just use a fresh polishing cloth that we have affixed to the bottom of our um, orbital polisher tool dealio. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show you that here in two seconds. Yeah, Brian did a good job. Uh, last night I thought, hey, we could just tuck the polishing cloth into the elastic buffer pad thing. Um, and that'd be a lot easier than trying to like keep the polishing cloth under the vibrating machine. Yeah. So something to keep in mind is as you're using the oil to every once in a while shake the can again. If you're gonna shake the can, be sure to put the lid on nice and tight or have a stir stick that you can stir it uh, because it does have about 90% of it is suspended natural solids and that's what helps to, to really make this floor tough, durable, water resistive and, uh, and feel really nice on your feet. I'm looking forward to doing the barefoot test on I this one wait. once we'll it's have all to wait here. A few days? Yeah, after it's all done, three after the last coat, it's like three to five days, I think. It'll be hard to stay away from the bus for that many days. We're gonna definitely come back to visit, though. Yeah, we'll take peeks. Yeah, the Canadian curling team, folks. That's probably good. Now I will mention this is less of a tight nap than we want, but due to the current pandemic, it's been hard to get all the supplies we need. They're like, yeah, we have a couple paintbrushes, but they're different. So this yeah. is what we got. Um, the nap okay. is a little bit thicker, I think, right? Yeah, it's like more loose than like a tight nap. So. Yeah. So we'll do our best to not get down. too much goop on the floor. Yeah. Or you could use a paintbrush also, so it's there's no hard fast rule. Um, but paintbrush works also. So we have started the second coat. How's it going on? Gorgeous. Look at that. It's dreamy. It's really dreamy. <laughs> I know that the lighting in here makes it look kind of yellowy. It's not that yellowy in real life. Everything looks yellowy. Even we look like the Simpsons half the time. Which is hilarious. Because of the lighting, but that's what you get from these work lights. I definitely see why Woka suggested using a tighter nap. I think when we rub it in with a, a thing, it'll help kind of smooth out that like loose nap look. Oh yeah, yeah, this is, I think the the bigger the nap, just the more oil it will hold at one yeah. particular time. I've only like re-dipped once so far. Well, it's doing good, like there's good coverage. Yeah, good coverage here, folks. Let's try to wring it out a little bit better. Here's what one application looks like. Coat two going on smooth. Nice coverage. Now we wait 10 to 15 minutes before we get in there and rub off the excess oil. And I checked the time right before or during our first application and it was 12.09. So I think that if we started at like 10 to 15 minutes past 12.04, because we already had a couple minutes on the clock, mm -hmm. then we can start in the back and then work our way. Right. Polishing it with our little polisher, orbital sander, polisher doohickey. Bufferoonie. Bufferoonie. Orbitable, orbitable bufferoonie. Orbitable bufferoonie. Orbitable. Orbitable. Ah, all 
All right, we just finished coat number two, <laughs> polishing it in. And now we get to wait for about six hours and then we're gonna apply coat number three. Intermission time. I asked you for the time. You got the damn right. That's right, kids. It's what? time for round three. <laughs> what? I have no idea what she's gonna say ever. And I have no idea that it was zoomed. Ever. Ever. Okay, let's do this. Normally I wear large gloves. These are Aaron's small gloves. Just because I already put my fashionable booties on. So I'm gonna wear these fashionable black gloves. I'm out of black ones and I only have blue and purple left. They look now I've got on you. They come from your mullet. <laughs> fashionable black gloves, fashionable mullet, and Fashionable, DIY, polished booties. booties, polished booties. Oh my gosh, Michael Jackson. Don't you, you're skid marking the floor. All right, all right. You're skid marking the floor. All right, we're gonna have to buff, buff that out. I messed up. I was trying to moonwalk. Get out of here. I'm done. Nice to see my booties holding up. Mine are doing great. Look at them. They're transforming with every, every wear. Uh, here we go. Had a good shake of Rooney. Now let's stir it a little bit. Want to make sure that it's nice and mixed for nice, smooth, and even application. That's right, kids. There we go. So, last time, we may have waited a little bit too long before we buffed it. So this time, we're actually gonna time it from when I start rolling it on, and then 10 to 15 minutes after that, Brian's gonna dive in, and he's gonna start buffing right away. So I'm gonna stay at the back with the buffer. I've gotta prepare my new polishing rag on it. Uh, just basically, I'm just putting it around the the polishing bonnet That's what I'm doing. New polishing bonnet. Everything you do gives me butterflies. I ask you for the time. Hey Siri, set timer for four minutes. <laughs> the timer is set for four minutes. Four more minutes, guys then I'll get to work. And until then, until then I'll just kind of hang out. So we are 10 minutes in. I'm getting my buffer set up right over here. And then I'm gonna start buffing while Erin is back here finishing off the third coat. She's at the diesel fill. She's about, uh, say, about three quarters of the way done with the bus. She's rocking it. Then and I'll be ready to be the electrical cord girl. Yeah, so she'll uh, she'll hold the cord and keep it from dragging around. And uh, let's get the final polish going on here. What do you say? Let's do it. Yeah. So after three coats of oil, we know that we reached full saturation of our reclaimed barn wood when the oil stopped becoming absorbed into the wood. Now that's important to note because you want full saturation and as soon as that starts happening, it's not going to absorb into the wood anymore. Then you switch over to the buffer and finish buffing all the excess off so that it can then cure for the next three to five days. When it comes to floor maintenance, Wilka has a really nice natural floor soap that is formulated to protect the floor. They also have a really nice microfiber mop that comes with a refillable section, so it's easy to just pour in the formula and a bottle like this should last you about a year. They also have an oil refresher spray that you can use up to three to four times a year just to keep your floor looking really nice and fresh. 
We really love how our floor turned out. The colors are gorgeous. Every single board has such beautiful character. I feel surprised. Do you feel surprised at how it turned out? I'm amazed at how turning such a rough, old, like century old barn wood into a floor, how beautiful it can look. It's like breathing brand new life into something that's old and making it into something new. So if you are doing a floor in your schoolie, in your van, or even in your tiny home, Definitely consider Woka for your next flooring project. And it doesn't stop there. Woka does all kinds of different wood finishes. So check out the link in the description below and see if Woka is a fit for your project. So big thanks to Woka. We appreciate you so much and we really love how our floor turned out. Gratitude. And until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on. Bye. Check this out. I'm not even gonna touch anything that you've done. <laughs> okay, get it. Anyone break my nails? You're doing a good job over there. <laughs> when in doubt, rub down your pants. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Get a little stir action going. Look! Super hot. Somebody's. Hey, I'm gonna go with a bit of a pointed toe look. You're doing a pointed toe, nice. I'm going with the box toe. I'm going high fashion. Kind of like the box toe cowboy boots, essentially. Which he are... brings his cowboy everywhere with him, folks. <laughs> Which are very stylish, by the way. You see that? That's looking pretty good. Hopefully we didn't forget anything outside the bus. <laughs> or else we'll be like, oh. 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 We're gonna need a vote on whose booties are better. So be They're, prepared for that. Look at that saw. Wow. And look at this one. Holy smokes. Now it's time to vote, kids. Alright, whose booties do you like better? You going with red or with green? Time to vote, kids. Time to vote. <laughs> We're not floor experts, but our floor sure looks like an expert did it.